What is up everybody? How you guys doing today? Today's video topic deals with a craze that has been blowing up on my Facebook feed and I see a lot of YouTube videos and, and bodybuilding.com blogs about it and it's fat burning exercises. Now my last video if you want to click right here if you missed it is about high intensity interval training which is one of the few cardio exercises that I highly recommend and I think is very beneficial. Now, it gets me upset when people think cardio is strictly treadmill, strictly elliptical, things like that, when really anything, you know, jumping jacks is cardio. Anything that gets your heart rate up can be technically cardio. So a lot of people feel that exercises like the treadmill, like the elliptical, things like that are the best way to lose fat and to lose, to lose body fat and weight. But really, you know, yes, cardio will burn calories, which in turn will, you know, reduce your, your weight, but it comes down to actually what you're eating. You know, I, I tell people that, you know, exercise is really important, but so is nutrition. Nutrition, I think, is number one, because I know you've heard this before. I absolutely love the quote, you can't out-train a bad diet, which is completely true. I know so many people that go, oh, you know, I worked out for this amount of time. I really killed it. I should reward myself. I should eat this. You know, it's okay. It's cool. Um, you know, that's for people that just want to remain the same but if you're really looking to improve yourself to lose body fat percentage to lose weight you really need to learn to not lose weight and, and bank on cardio strictly cardio you need to learn a proper diet and I hate using the word diet let's call it a nutritional plan you know depending on what your goal is you could fit that plan to work best for you and it's not about completely measuring everything you know for me the only thing I measure besides my scoops of protein is my rolled oats in the morning that's it you know I'm not measuring my chicken because for me I feel it's it's a lot harder to gain weight from quality food because that quality food is usually lower in calories and makes you feel fuller longer especially protein so the the main message here is that Yes, cardio is a good thing, but really, you know, I'm the type of person that I hate high intensity interval training. I hate it and love it at the same time. I love it because I know it's so effective and I know it's so beneficial getting such a great workout in 20 minutes, but I also hate it because it kicks my ass. And you know, for me, lifting weights and doing and doing anaerobic exercises like squat thrusts, burpees and stuff like that are a lot more fun. And mentally, I don't look at it as cardio. Um, I just look at it as me doing what I do in the gym. But when I'm on that treadmill, I'm just I'm there for 20 minutes. And for me, it's a totally different thing. And I can't stand it. But you need to learn that with a proper diet, that cardio doesn't have to be so intense. Once you learn to balance out everything, you know, your your progress will definitely improve and you'll you'll lose body fat percentage and, and lose and lose uh, body weight. So really, you know, the main staples are, are rolled oats for your complex carbs, a protein source. I tell people food protein will always be better than than whey protein, than egg, than, than soy, hemp protein, whatever you want to say. So, you know, your protein sources are salmon, chicken, things like that. I personally don't do beef. Um, that's just me. But really, you need to learn to, you know, analyze what you're putting in your mouth because a lot of people don't understand you know how much calories are they really taking in so uh, an app that I suggest is myfitnesspal.com uh, or myfitnesspal the actual app but you what you do is you put in your height and your weight and what your target weight is and it tells you how much carbs how much protein and how much fat percentage wise should come from your diet every day and it also tells you your caloric intake that is suggested you can tweak it um, but usually it's spot on or pretty spot on granted um, you know, everybody's different. Some people could have higher carb intake. Some people need a little bit more protein depending on, you know, your body type, your, your fitness level, you know, how often you work out. But the main message that I'm trying to get to you guys is that, you know, you, you don't need to spend your life on the treadmill to lose body fat and to lose weight, especially now that, that summer's coming, people are freaking out and, and, and going in panic mode. But really, just learn to analyze you know what you're putting in your body and also if you're really hungry or not you really only need to eat 
every three and a half, four hours. You know, a, a lot of people eat because of boredom. Um, you know, I, I'm guilty of that, and I and I know it. So you know, a trick is to drink water. I chew gum all the time. That's one of my tricks. But eat when you're hungry. Listen to your body, and and once you learn to be in tune with your body, you will be unstoppable. That same goes for your workouts. You know, if if you're feeling drained, skip that day or do a light exercise. Don't kill yourself because then you'll you'll there, you'll greater the risk of injury. So learn to learn to analyze what you're putting in your body. Do the right things in the gym, and you will see results. I don't believe in plateaus. I don't believe in you know not getting results. I think at a certain point, your body is going to hold on to the weight that it, it needs. But for most people who are overweight, you know it's it's either their exercise, but usually it's their diet. So um, thank you guys for watching, and tune in for the next video. Stay healthy.